In this SketchUp demo video, I want to cover the basics of how you use the scale tool. So what I have here for an example is a flat two-dimensional object and then a three-dimensional object. I'm going to start out with the flat 2D object just so we can take a look at essentially how the tool works. So I'm just going to double click on this and I don't have to triple click on it because it's only a flat surface with some edges. Um, so a double click will do it. I'm going to pick the scale tool from the tool set here. And when I do that, you'll see that it gives a series of these green grippers going around the object in a big uh, rectangle. So if we wanted to scale this object, I can grab a corner. And you'll see if I grab one corner, it puts a dotted line going across. And it wants to be uniform when you grab from a corner. So I'm going to click on that. When I do, my value control box down in the lower right hand corner changes from uh, measurement to scale and says 1. So 1 is the object at 100%. If I pull my mouse out, you'll see that number gets bigger. So 1.5 would be the object at 150%. 1.75 or 2, for example, would be at 200%. If I go smaller, 0.5, for example, would be 50% of the object's original size. When you grab these opposite corners, it does this object uniformly, so it doesn't distort it at all. If I hold down the Shift key, then I can you know, squash the object in whatever direction I want. So if I wanted to make this a little bit bigger, I could say 1.5, enter, and now that object is 1.5, 150% of its original size. If we grab these middle grippers, what we can do is stretch it from that point. So it's coming through the middle, and I'm stretching it from essentially this base point at the farther end of the object and pulling out this way. If I hold down the control key, it will actually stretch it along that one axis from the center. If I grab these other points, you'll see that I can either go to or from that opposite point in this one direction, and it's snapping, notice, at the original uh, spot that the object was. And if I hold down control, it will go from the middle. So that's the basics of how the scale tool works on a two-dimensional object. It basically works the same way on a three-dimensional object. I'll just triple click on it to select it, but it's just a little more complicated. So if I click scale, you'll see that we get this box with all the grippers, but it's not just flat. It goes all the way around the object on every side. So if I grab one of these corners, I can scale this object uniformly. So I can go and say that I would like this to be at uh, 1.5 or 150%, and it will do that all the way around. If I grab those corners and hit Control, you'll see that it's doing the same type of thing where it will flex and change the scale from the midpoint, not that original base point that was opposite of the gripper that I chose. We also have the option of grabbing the objects at these midpoints. So here, for example, if I grab this center one on the top, it will let me just stretch this up and either make it taller or squash it about the z-axis. And I could type in a number here. I could say that I want that to be 1.75, so make it 75% taller. And I can work my way around and grab all of these different center points and pull it along just one axis or the other from any midpoint on any of these basically faces of the scale box. We also have midpoints on these corners all the way around. And what that does is lets you scale it to two of the axis lines. So those previous midpoints we grabbed let us go along the X, Y, or Z. Now these let us go along the X and Y, for example, and so on. So it lets you squish it and squash it along two of the axis lines. And these corners lets you do all three. So it really depends what you want to do. So if I grab these middle ones, it's along one axis. The grips on the corners along the edges of that box go in two directions. 
and then these corner ones go uniformly in all directions. And that's really the basics of using the scale tool.